Now come to light that not only is they aborting babies, okay, that's also selling the body parts, the body parts. of the babies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I come to know and understand that this is something that our government has known for a while. Okay. And some reporter just un unveiled it and, and made it public. So we wanted to bring that to your attention tonight and then and um, just talk about that a little bit and find out what are you, what are your intakes on that? What do you think about that? And there's also protest that's going around the nation to um, asking the government to stop their support mm -hmm. because they're mm -hmm. using our tax dollars yeah. mm -hmm. to support, mm -hmm. you know, the selling of these body parts and the abortion. What I've been hearing is, is that the, the protesters have picked up since yes, there was a, was a video that had gotten out. Yes, because um, it's becoming more, oh, people are becoming more aware of what's going on now. There yes. was a video that had gotten out that they were actually discussing the selling of body parts, mm -hmm. and yes. they were saying that they weren't selling the body parts per se, but they were donating but the body parts and charging shipping and handling. And, oh, okay. And so uh, even still, it's still selling. It's, selling. It, well, it, it's, it's bad whether you do it or whether you don't. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't, and I'm looking at, I'm looking at some of the, her, I'm looking at some of the quotes here that she has. That, and that's, that, that's the, pretty. I think that's the key word to, to this here as I sit here and I look at this founder of Planned Parenthood. These are in her own words. Her own words. Mm -hmm. Nobody else said this, but this is what she is saying. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's the, that's the um, most devastating part of it because she is bold enough mm -hmm. to come forth like this, mm -hmm. you know, to display what she uh, 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 feels. And then when I look at here, it says the most merciful thing that a large family does to one of its infant's members is to kill it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, she called it mercy killing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, that mercy but killing. But keep in mind, killing killing. she's What's passed that? and gone on. Right, exactly. And, and, uh, and this operation is now passed on to others mm -hmm. that is still, you know, but, but it, start, it started somewhere. It started, it started, it started somewhere. It started Even though her. she's passed and gone, exactly. it started, it started with, with her. Yeah. But it hasn't stopped. It hasn't and stopped. And that's the mm -hmm. that's the important thing that we have to understand. Right. It may have started with her, and she may be dead and gone, but it's not buried with her. No, no. That that, that, that that's, the, that's the point. The, and that's the whole, that's point. the whole point. The whole point is this is still taking place today and that's why we have having protesters at these different places because th this is not their mind their mind said you're killing you're taking a life mm -hmm. you know and you know at a certain time in a, 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 um, a infant or a, a baby being conceived mm -hmm. they become a living soul that's right yes you know mm -hmm. so you take it upon yourself to kill them mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. that's not God's way. But it's even inhuman to, to and what now is happening is um, partial birth abortion. Mm -hmm. The baby now is almost ready to be yes. um, born. born. Now. Mm -hmm. And now, all of a sudden, now you're, you're killing these children right. who, who have full arms, mm -hmm. full legs. Exactly. Uh, and you're selling these parts. Okay, for for uh, for, for uh, your personal gain. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is murder. It's murder. It's 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 murder, like you said. I believe at the moment of conception, there's life. Exactly, yes. it is. Okay, the baby may not have all of its limbs, but there's a heartbeat. But that's yes. life. That's mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. And I believe from there that that's murder from from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at. Her own words, and it is her own words. Mm -hmm. Margaret Sanger says on blacks, immigrants, and ingredient and indignants, human weeds, reckless mm -hmm. breeders, spawning mm -hmm. human beings who never should have been born. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the sad these part are her of, words. Even though that's a sad thing that she even started and targeted the black population, it's not just blacks now. Mm -hmm. It's any, any babies, yeah. irregardless of their race or nationality. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, and I'm looking at this letter here that 
that you written as well. We're, we're going mm -hmm. to that to a We're just going to follow your lead. So, uh, uh, again, the protest has stepped up. There's a, also a petition on online uh, on the um, ACLJ that you can go to if you want to sign the petition to the government, mm -hmm. you know, and asking them to withdraw their um, financial support from her because these are our tax dollars that they're well, not to her, but to the or to the organization. Parenthood organization. Okay. Because okay. um, they're using our tax dollars to fund this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Of course, there's been several, even before these videos came to light, there's been several protests even here in the city, mm -hmm. um, pretty much on the weekend. Um, I, I know over at Shaker, at, at the Planned Parenthood over there, Every weekend there's a protest, you know. Um, matter of fact, we had a lady from Akron that passed away. She went over for an abortion over there and never came out. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. and they tried to cover it up by covering her up and taking her out the back door to take her away. But the news media was there to catch it mm -hmm. because some of the um, protesters were there and saw it, you know, mm -hmm. and notified the news media about it. And that's how. News media got hold of it. You wow. know, mm. it, it was an abortion that went bad. And not only did they kill the baby, they killed the lady. Wow. Mm. You know, that came up from Akron, and then they tried to hide it from her family. <coughs> you know, wow. and they got word of it. Wow. You know, wow. so there's about seven different videos that's out as of today, showing how they're actually doing the transactions and selling these body parts. But yet they're still in denial, saying no, they're not selling the body parts. They're only donating them for scientific research. You know. What are they researching? I'm, 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 I mean, if that's the case, what? My question is, what are you researching? Yeah, exactly. what, what are you trying? No. What are you looking for? No, but it's, it's just, also been uncovered through these videos as well. Not only in. in it, it's really sad to be able to see these videos and see this going on. You really have to have a stomach for this because not only are they showing how they are aborting the babies, mm. they're also showing the transactions of the selling. Oh, I, you know what? I don't think and I that, see that. That's how they yeah, know that, because that, they just, have it. Just hearing they it, have just it on video. Yeah. 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 You know, just like a drug deal, you know, mm -hmm. so it is with the selling of the body parts, you know, yeah. the exchange, you know. No, they have documented this. proof, you know, from the paperwork that this is what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And here, even in, in, in the uh, article here, it says on sterilization and racial purification, it says, uh, what's her name? Sanger. Sanger mm -hmm. believed that for the purpose of racial purification, couples should be rewarded who choose sterilization. Mm. Wow. Yeah, She's got a lot of quotes here. Mm -hmm. And a lot and, of followers. And, yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nationwide. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I'm looking at her goal in life. She says her goal in life is to it says Sanger admitted her entire life's purpose was to promote birth control. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. You know now what, what what spirit is that? That's you know that's a demonic spirit because the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Yeah. That that's that's clear. I mean, it's plain here. It reminds me. It reminds me of Herod, mm. King Herod. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. You know, he tried to eliminate Jesus, and because he was unable to, he killed all the young, mm -hmm. unborn, young born children. Mm -hmm. You know, and then it reminds me of again back in the day of Pharaoh mm -hmm. when Moses was was coming on. So what what this is telling me that. There is some greatness in these seeds. Most definitely. And, and the devil knows it. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the fact that she wanted to eradicate blacks, mm -hmm. the greatness is coming through a black seed. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because the devil is, 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 is at work heavily right. in this thing. And now it's become, you know, common to go get an abortion. Yeah. It's commonplace. Mm -hmm. I think God's wrath is is going to somebody's going to pay for that. 
Well, actually, that's where they got abortion from, you know, and I think that's where her mindset comes from, from the, the biblical practice where we find in Scripture where they, they used to take babies and sacrifice, sacrifice. Mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And what they did is they had this statue, that, this like Buddha-like statue, and they carved out the belly of this statue and set uh, uh, like a coal of fire inside the belly, and they would take these babies and, and lie, I'm not abort them. Mm -hmm. They're already born. Mm -hmm. But they would take and sacrifice mm -hmm. them and put them in the fire of this mm -hmm. belly mm -hmm. of, of, of this Buddha guy. You wow. Know? And that, that statue you see where they're sitting across in that big belly, yeah. yeah, this is what they had carved out, you know. Mm -hmm. And they would literally sacrifice these babies and put them in this fire of this belly. And that's where mm -hmm. this mindset comes from yeah. as far as abortion. These are this these this is a living soul. Yeah, this is a life. Yeah. But they take these uh, vacuums and and put into the mm -hmm. womb and suck, suck the baby's mm -hmm. brains out mm -hmm. and, until they you know and then they take the babies out and then carve them up and sell them you know the, wow. the body parts. Wow. Mm -hmm. And That's they they show that on video. It's on video. It's on video. That's just that's just that's just. It's on video how they do the abortion. Wow. It's on video how they go and do the transactions for selling the body parts. Wow. Mm -hmm. Sickening. Absolutely. Yeah. Sickening. yeah. Matter of fact, um, Planned Parenthood is selling by baby parts without mothers, and you can find that on the ChristianPost.com. Okay, there's video there. Also, there's videos that's on LifeNews.com that that you can. And this is a, as of August the 16th and August the 11th. Okay, uh, in July the 13th, if you go to YouTube, you'll find the Planned Parenthood uses partial birth abortion to sell body parts, and right. that's on YouTube.com backslash watch. You know. And it shows there. Actually, it shows where on July the 13th, where they actually about eight o'clock one morning, um, in the process of doing this, showing the doctors actually doing the abortion mm -hmm. and the selling of the body parts. And that's on YouTube for those that wants to research that. Wow. Yeah. Uh, there's another website that you can go to. It's called B Brett Hart. Uh, B R E I T B A R T dot com. Okay. It's another Planned Parenthood Dr. Hagelin Price pricing the parts of the babies. Mm -hmm. Yet another senior medical advisor that works for Planned Parenthood. Mm -hmm. Negotiating the pricing. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And all this is legal. I don't think it, all of it, it can be. That, well, that, is, is, it, is it part of the legalization what, what, package of, for abortion? I mean, is that what well, the government they, you know. approved? And this is what I'm asking. I it's mean, not this, legal, this is legal. But the government, and where the protests come in, is the government is not doing anything to stop it. it. Yeah. Okay. And they're using tax dollars to support it. And they well, are aware of what's going on as we speak. Okay, the question and that they I'm, haven't withdrawn their financial support as we speak. The question that I want to want to ponder or ask, if if the government, if our tax god dollars were not involved in this, if they were being funded, say, through private donors. And they are being would, funded would, through would private there, donors as well. Would there be a, well, but the issue here is the fact that our tax dollars mm -hmm. are going into Mm -hmm. this partial yes. uh, Planned Parenthood. Mm -hmm. the, the question we need to ask ourselves is if it, if we if there were no tax dollars involved, only private donors, would there be a protest? Would yes, it would. Be protesting? Yes, it would still be a protest. Because yes. the, the main thing that I'm hearing is, is that the government's our tax dollars, the governments are using our tax dollars to fund Planned Parenthood, mm -hmm. and this is what they're trying to, mm -hmm. sh this is what they're protesting yeah. against. Mm -hmm. This is what they're trying to shut down. Mm -hmm. Okay, but if, say for instance, okay, 
do we shut it down? Our tax dollars no longer funded. You still have the private donors. And they so then still, they're the, going to still so protest so, because it's, and it's still pri- so it's the main private purpose donors. of the protest because is just do, is, is because they're doing it. Okay. So the main, the whole main purpose of the protest is just to defund Planned Parenthood. Period. Period. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's I'm just. Wait a minute. It's my body. Mm-hmm. If I want to have an abortion, what business it is it of you Christian folks to be concerned about me having an abortion? And it's my money. If I'm a corporation and I want to give money to this corporation or this Planned Parenthood, what business is it of your Christian folks that? Because we do. are the representative, we are the ambassadors for Jesus Christ. We are the representatives of God here on earth who created this life on earth. And as the representative, as the house of refuge, okay, even though you declare it's your body, even though it's not your body, it belongs to him, but yet you are violating not only your body, you are mm-hmm. violating a helpless body that's inside of that's you. That's right, that's right. So we're standing in defense of that living soul that you are con- you conceive mm-hmm. that that can't speak for itself. For itself. Mm-hmm. So we become the voice of that soul. That's right. Mm-hmm. Which is what the Bible teaches us. It tells us to speak up for the weak. Amen. Yes. Okay. And, the the and, and the fatherless and, and, and the widows. And yeah. So now, somebody's if you be so a voice. desire to destroy your body and do what you do, you don't have the right to destroy another body. Okay. You don't have the right to destroy a living, a living, that's right. a living exactly. soul. That's right. living now, soul. if that's the case, why you want to put me in prison? Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. For black on black crime. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yet you will fund and allow someone. To go in and destroy a helpless body. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, then what about the money part? Then? All right. I'm sort of I'm sort of understanding you with this, uh, you know, save a soul. But if I'm a private corporation, if I'm Eaton Corporation or whatever, and I want to support Planned Parenthood because it sounds like they're planning for Parenthood, mm-hmm. what's wrong with me giving to them to help people to make right decisions about aborting or not aborting? The problem with that is is if we can get them to defund it Mm -hmm. then there'll be no buyers for it okay 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 so yes it's your corporation mm -hmm. yes it's your money yeah okay but you are still in violation of a helpless soul Mm -hmm. well i don't know about that i mean i'm i just know that planned parenthood has a lot more uh, don't they advise the young ladies about uh, contraception and don't they advise them about uh, health and don't they advise them about uh, um, uh, marriage and well, don't they do that there? Well, well what the, they the, do is not actually advise them; they deceive them. I think. Oh. The, I think that. I think the title here is a little is deceptive. Yeah. Plan mm-hmm. Parenthood. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you're, you're helping me plan. Right. Exactly. And you're giving yeah. me the counsel yeah. that I need in order to be a yeah. parent for my yeah. child. And, and you're saying that's not what goes I on think there? the title. See, because when Satan went and spoke into the garden. The title was already. Okay, right. The serpent. He wasn't going in as an advisor. He was going in as a deceiver. Mm. It's not that they did no right from wrong. Okay. Mm-hmm. He influenced them to do that which was wrong. Okay. It's not that the ladies that goes in know and consciously that this is wrong. Mm-hmm. Okay, some of them don't know what to do. What? 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 For how, those, how do you answer this question? I've been raped mm. by this monster of a person, mm-hmm. and I just can't let this life grow inside of me, thinking what. I went through and what he did to me. Mm-hmm. What about her? That's that's that, what your yeah. your your that's where your counseling comes in now. Not, okay, not not the advice, counseling. the counseling. Okay. Because when you talk about advice, you're talking about telling them what to do and how to go about them. Mm-hmm. No, we want to give them spiritual counseling. We want, to, in other words, counseling is to make one aware of. Mm-hmm. Okay, not both, you know, uh, what you're doing, but the consequences of what you're doing. Okay, okay. And, and help educate and 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 give them a way to 
Make Maybe sure have the baby better and alternative. Send up for adoption or adoption, something. Right. With like the that. hope of even though you've gone through this traumatic experience. Yes. Yes. There's many resources available to you to help you to overcome mm -hmm. that tragic moment in your life. And mm -hmm. this is why I say that the, the Planned Parenthood title is, is deceiving. Yeah. And, and I'm glad you brought that out because it it, it, it started mm -hmm. in the garden. It seems as though we're going back mm -hmm. to the Garden of Eden where, where the devil, I mean, he's always been a deceiver. Always and a liar. Been a deceiver. When we plan, stop. we plan to uh, make things better or we plan to make sure that things are going to be uh, uh, better or, in, or we're in a better situation. And that's what uh, Planned Parenthood is supposed to be. Mm -hmm. When the young ladies go into the Planned Parenthood offices, they are to advise them, to show them what they have to give them the the, the options, options that they yeah. have mm -hmm. far as whether or not it's birth control everybody can't take birth control mm -hmm. so or whether or not it's one of the IUDs those are not very uh, uh, safe as well you know uh, you know so it, it, it gives them the, the information is supposed to be put out there what is out there and that's one of the information options mm -hmm. that is out there about um, abortions you know but a lot of times uh, uh, to do abortion yeah you have to have a lot of counseling or someone to really uh, uh, talk to you because you can do it out of the heat of the moment because we'll say I, I, I can't afford a baby I, I can't do this uh, 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 this person don't want me no more or, or you, you see what I'm saying so I can't bring a child into this world that's a great responsibility right there to make a decision of whether or not I want to either carry the child and give it up for nine months, you know, give it up, or if I want to just get rid of it from Jump Street so I don't have to think about it no more. But they don't understand the impact. They don't understand what, what happens when you go through something like that and what how it plays on your mind and, and your your feelings and stuff you know so Planned Parenthood it should be at a part and place where yes they should be advised and they should be able to know what's the different uh, uh, contraceptives that's out there that can be used you know before they even go that route. Well, now she's saying here that in her her goal in life was to promote birth control. Birth control. Birth control. To control okay. those births. Now this was this. Now it seems to me that here in her statement here, it, it appears it from my understanding it, that would appear to be before conception, not after. Yeah. To promote birth control. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so. Yeah, you know, and that's one route she was looking at going to, you know, um, it's, it's playing for peace, for birth control. But in the same time, for those that have already conceived. I don't okay. see anything in here, well, I haven't read the whole, um, the all the information that you've given me. Uh, I'm going to just kind of give her the benefit of the doubt. I don't read anything, I, don't, I haven't read anything in here word wise where part of her um, plan to promote birth control involves abortion I haven't read that in here I mean I, I hear here negative statements as far as blacks immigrants and, and, and human weeds reckless breeders spawning human beings who never sh who have who never should have been born mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's not in here Mm -hmm. I'm just saying from what I'm reading here, I'm not and that's why I I'm not reading you, <coughs> so then That's so, why I gave you those other websites and those other supporting documents that you can go into and get more details on it. That's why you can go and look at the videos. Okay? But what I'm saying is, Bishop, is that how do you know that the abortion started with her? How do we really do we really have because we don't really know that 
only thing we have here is you have to go to the line promoting birth control her, her letters. Okay. It's, 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 letters. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. it's okay. Okay. Then I'll have her, to read that because yeah, I don't I don't see they anything have in here where she's saying okay. where she's saying abortion is part of the birth control plan. Okay, uh, that she had in mind when she started Planned Parenthood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What I'm what, what I'm saying is, right. is that mm -hmm. uh, maybe the abortion port part is not on her. Maybe when she passed away, mm -hmm. now it I, may, yeah. it, somebody else may have so taken it, it. Yeah. And, and put that and right. implemented. Okay, that plan as a part of birth control. So th this, you, you understand where I'm coming yeah, from? Yeah, I do. Yeah, okay, what that's, what, that's what because I'm saying. Because you're not right? saying, I'm you're the, directly not seeing. No, I'm, direct, I'm not seeing it directly in here, right? Yeah, you know, but uh, like Bishop is saying, in order to see it, we have to go that, to the other websites right. in order mm -hmm. to see it. You okay. Know? But I understand what you're saying because mm -hmm. we can, we're not, it didn't say here that she was the founder of uh, uh, abortions. Because you know. when you read her statements, mm -hmm. when you read her autobiography, when you read in her own words what she said, mm -hmm. the most merciful thing okay, that a large that family now. does right. to one of its infant members, that's after, okay, the conception, is to kill it. But that's not, mm. that's, that's murder. Okay, that's what I'm, that, okay. that's what Abortion is a form of murder. Here. Okay. Now, is, is this, is this infant no before conception, conception or after this conception? This is after conception. Okay. Yeah. And because and if, there's, murder. if there's no conception, then there's no murder. Why? Because there's no birth. Mm -hmm. Okay. There, there's no seed. Okay. Okay. So the birth control comes in is to eliminate, to kill the seed before. Okay. Because one would argue by reading this is that where's the abortion part in all mm -hmm. this? Yeah. Because like like Ellen first stated, there are different methods of birth control. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Okay. And everyone everyone can um can take the pill. There's the IUD. There's right. there other birth control. There's other types. Yeah. And so one would argue that's that this is not fair to tag her with this because it's nowhere in here right. that directly yeah. states. And I understand not what you're saying. That not this you was part of her plan. Here, you have to go into the right. other documents. And that's what that yeah, and that's what mm -hmm. he's saying. That's mm -hmm. that's the whole point. He's mm -hmm. trying to make the point that he doesn't see that mm -hmm. she was the beginner she was the, that created mm -hmm. this. And there again, we know we're gonna have to go to the other sites to mm -hmm. read if we want to find out who did do this. Because I understand what he's saying. Well, right now we could just say that yeah. she passed. Mm -hmm. And somebody else took it over, and they could. You know how people and if that, the if the, the uh, thing, uh, things. And, and that's my point. Yeah, that's, the same that's thing my with point. So the point he was mm -hmm. bringing out when he mentioned about Herod and Pharaoh and all the other ones. Okay, okay. Satan initially, okay, he didn't kill the baby, okay, but he initiated the act. Okay. Because God said, if you eat of this tree, you shall surely die. The deception came in when you come into the birth control clinic. Oh, don't worry about it. We can help you. Mm -hmm. You won't surely die. Mm -hmm. First of all, we can't kill something that's not born anyway. You, you follow? You, mm -hmm. you, you hear that concept? That's a deception. Well, it's not born anyway. Therefore, there's no life to it. Well, if you've got a brain, if you've got a heartbeat, then there is life. Okay? If you got a fetus, there is life. Okay? The thing is, there have not been a deliverance, okay, which we would call a birth. Okay? But when you do research in, in Europe, their birth starts at the moment of conception. Well, okay? that's what we're saying. And so because it starts at the moment of conception, that's declared as a life, and they mm -hmm. count that as their birth. The moment mm -hmm. the doctor say, oh, you're pregnant. Their years begin then, not after they've been delivered. Mm -hmm. You follow what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so that was the deception even with Satan, so it is now. He said, oh, you won't surely die. Well, what happened? The moment they ate, they died. Mm -hmm. okay? And then from that mm -hmm. point on, what happened? Pharaoh and who Herod, the, Herod, 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 they all went looking mm -hmm. for him. 
-hmm. And this was after deliverance. Mm -hmm. What the Bible said, from well, two years younger? Three. Well, uh, well, well, but you know, I'm, I'm, now I'm, I, I think you almost convinced me there, Bishop, but I got another question. Another question. You know, the, you know, the, the little old man, little old lady, 90, 95, close to 100, on their deathbed, but just can't mm -hmm. die of cancer, and we're going mm -hmm. through pain and aches and all this hurt for years and years. And they said, I just want to leave. Mm -hmm. I want to die. Mm -hmm. But they can't die. Mm -hmm. And they say, you know, call Dr. Kaborkian up in here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and let him put me to sleep. I think the word is euthanasia. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that a form of murder too? That's a form of murder because it's not his life to take. Even though it's by request, mm -hmm. you know. Oh my God! You know I've been having such a traumatic experience in my life, Pastor. I, I, I'm so sick and tired. I just want the world to stop and just let me off. Here, take my gun and shoot me. You got my permission. I can't take another moment of that. You don't think you're gonna charge you now for what? Assisted mm -hmm. suicide. Mm -hmm. Because suicide. the doctor takes an oath. Yeah. Oh, so you, you're not going to shoot me? Don't worry about it. I go downtown. I pull out my little package here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it might look like a gun. Mm -hmm. And I point it at the car. Mm -hmm. And that's how, yeah. Why? Because I want to commit suicide. Well, boy, that's... Oh, my God. But is it is my it, life to give? Is it not your life to give? No. 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 Okay, okay. I had, I had an aunt. Uh, but... Who was on dialysis mm -hmm. for many years? Mm -hmm. Husband passed on. She didn't want to live anymore. Mm. She didn't want to live anymore. So she told the Presenius mm -hmm. uh, Dialysis Center, mm -hmm. I don't want to take my treatment mm -hmm. anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they granted her that wish. Mm -hmm. You don't have to take your treatment. Anymore. And by law, they have to grant her that. Mm -hmm. that. And but she was, has a right. Right. Mm -hmm. And we know that, and, and also she was. But it doesn't make it and, right. And she was the pastor's wife, first lady. Mm -hmm. You know, for many, 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 50 something years. Mm -hmm. She was about 80, 80 something when she passed. Mm -hmm. And uh, she just didn't want to live anymore. Now, she stopped taking her treatment. Mm -hmm. Okay, dialysis. Mm -hmm. And immediately she started to deteriorate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, yes. actually, she was already deteriorating. Right. They just, but the medicine and the dialysis and all that was a slower process. Okay, keep slower her, process. Keep, yeah. keep, keep, keeping, keeping yes. her, keeping mm -hmm. her alive. Keep her comfortable until she passes. Okay, well, she got out of dialysis, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. went into hospice, and then, you know, mm -hmm. died. Right. Mm -hmm. Is that. Because she had that desire to to die, mm -hmm. is that considered a suicide? No, not That's because not she had the desire to die. Okay. If she had taken her own life, would have been considered a suicide. Okay. 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 Yeah. So, so okay. what you say? The desire the doesn't that make she... the act. Well, the commitment makes the act. Okay. Well, the commitment was mm -hmm. to take me off of this machine. Mm -hmm. So that I can, mm -hmm. and if they didn't take her off, they can be held liable. Right. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So, so my point. So my point is, I mean, don't hold no bars back because it was my mm -hmm. aunt. Just, just, no, just I'm tell me. Telling you. I mean, mm -hmm. was that considered a suicide, or was that considered euthanasia, or was that considered a decision? I mean, what, what no, was it? Natural that, death. I mean, what was no, the? That's just considered a self will. See, because she's going to die anyway. Uh -huh. Okay. And, and she's not taking her own life, okay? okay. The disease is taking her life. Mm -hmm. It's just a slower process. Mm -hmm. Because to every man is given a time for death, mm -hmm. to die, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And however long God would allow her to go through that, mm -hmm. okay? Who is to say if... She could have stayed in dialysis another 20 uh, years. Another 20 mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. And then but that would 20 she have years... Been uh, uh, had a quality of life. Okay. Well, well, even if she didn't have a quality of life, someone or some family member could have benefited 
their life and 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 and, and, and doing better with their life, seeing how she's so, and then I'm just, oh, you know, I don't think I ever want to go through that. Mm-hmm. You, know, you, you understand what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Who knows how God has set up and designed an individual to reach someone else? Okay. But that's our sole purpose for living is that we can reach someone else okay. on behalf of God. We can reconcile someone else. Is it through just a word or through a, through a deed or through an action? Okay. We don't know why God is using that individual to suffer like that mm-hmm. as we still don't understand why Jesus suffered for us and yes. died like he did. Yes. Yes. A long death. Yes. yes. We don't know. We can't answer no, that. No, no, All we can do is no, be thankful and grateful that he did. Now Jesus, speaking of abortions and euthanasia and, 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 and suicide and all these things, Jesus knew he was going to die. He knew it. And we he know we knew he was going to die. die. He went to the cross. Knowing. Knowing. Mm-hmm. For us. Yes. Mm-hmm. But he so, went to the cross mm-hmm. so that we would have to. We wouldn't have to go. <laughs> but, that was, that was, but that was his sole reason for coming here. <laughs> right. Yeah. Because right. yeah. he said, I come that I may give you life world. and yeah. give it to that you more abundantly. That was his abundantly. sole purpose. He right. knew that he was going to die. But so. we know that we're going to die too one day. Mm-hmm. But it's not our. Mm-hmm. It, it's not up to us when we're going to die. We don't have the power to take exactly. our own lives. We don't have that mm-hmm. power. So but do you we think, think we do? So do you think Judas. Is is with Jesus in heaven, or do you think he's in hell? I don't believe he's with Jesus in heaven. Well, first and foremost, I don't. Judas was, the Bible says Judas was purpose. He was created mm-hmm. to perform that, and he was yeah. the only one mm-hmm. that right. was given that task. Right. He waited okay. to make, the, make yeah. it right. Mm-hmm. So did it? I don't believe. I mean, Jesus. everything I was in God's given I, I time. Think, I think he repented. I don't think he. He did, did but maybe he did. But I just think it was too late. But to say where his I think soul he was lies, I think he was sorry no, for what he, he was did. Sorry, yeah. yeah. And he had a guilty spirit for what right. he did, but I don't believe that he yeah. ever repented. And there's just some things that we just can't answer right. on behalf of God. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. You're, you're, you're and that's true. Now it's we like, don't know that for sure, but you right. ask, do I believe? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm yeah. telling you what I believe. I don't I believe he ever repented. I believe that he was sorry for what he yeah. did through right. his reaction. I think he was so sorry. And, yeah. But I believe that he never fully repented. And we can only speculate when because he, we really he don't had an know. Answer. And so this lady here who... It's like the temptation wrote a song one time, mm. you know. Um, wise men, a fool give you reasons. Wise men never try. Y'all, y'all remember hearing that in uh, another no. song? No, no, no. I don't. <laughs> No, that must be a, some. That must be some words in another song that I know, no, like probably just my imagination or something. No, no, it, it was. Um, I'll think of the song here in, in a minute. But 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 um but um, past, uh, apostle was mm-hmm. about to say something about this lady here. Yeah, and I, I'm I'm because because here's 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 the point. I I'm trying to get to hear this mean lady mm-hmm. who wanted to destroy black lives and. Does there show any sign of repentance of this heinous crime she wanted to commit? And that we don't know. Yeah. And was she a Christian? And that we don't know. Okay. All we know is from what, she, in her own words, words, what she said. Okay. And in her own words, what she said. And she boldly and openly gave this statement. Even in writing this letter, okay, to the um, to the four colored, we we should hire three or four colored ministers, preferably social service background, and with engaging personalities, okay, that they can help to influence from a religious appeal, yeah. a religious standpoint, okay. Our failure to segregate morons who are increasingly and multiplying demonstrates our full-hearted, hearted and extravagant cemeterianism. Okay, she she addressed that to those ministers wow. and asking for their support. Okay, and influencing. And she said color ministers. Color. She wanted color. Colored. Colored. She said, mm-hmm. So to answer your question, there in her own words, there is nothing that says 
she ever repented, okay, hmm. from what she proceeded to do. Hmm. Well, like you said, some things we don't know. Mm -hmm. um, only thing we know is based on is the information that we have before us. Mm -hmm. And so, um, uh, it, wow. Now, <laughs> what I will do is research and who is it that that lady i can't remember her name right now she was the cause of actual abortion taking place well wow. she did repent mm -hmm. yeah and there's there's her documents is and she's a christian now now was she part of this planned parenthood yes yeah, at was, one point at in one time point. she was mm -hmm. okay uh -huh. that's where the actual abortion came in and see that's what we were to, saying to make abortion. that's that's what she, i was saying right. she protested that to make abortion legal right okay but since then she has repented okay okay so that and was the question i was asking that's about we don't mm -hmm. know if sure, this lady, if this is, lady the one. is the one who started the abortion right. process because no she planted the seed okay, okay. and that's what, that's what i was saying about satan satan planted mm -hmm. the seed Herod, Pharaoh, and all the others carried out the actual action. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. But this lady, I, I can't even remember her name, she protested to have abortion legal, legalized. But since then, she has repented. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's and right. now she's an advocate mm -hmm. for, for life. For life. For life. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Damage, and I, I think that damage. answers the question you was asking. Yeah, that, that, that's it what does. we were. Yeah, yeah. it does because yeah. you know, we we often, like you said, she's just as guilty. Yeah. For mm -hmm. planting the seed, mm -hmm. right, right. right? We're not. Exactly. We're, you can't. You don't. Of course, you can't. Not hold her accountable for, for some of it, if not most of it, mm -hmm. for planting the seed. We don't know what her. Well, based on her her quotes here, we know what her intent was was to destroy the African American race. Yeah, that was her. Intent. That was her intent mm -hmm. through through birth control. I don't I don't know how she, how she was going to do that. I don't know, but that that is virtually impossible. But um I'm just I'm just looking at even here in, in on the second page on the extermination of blacks. Mm -hmm. Okay, which is in the letter that apostle has before mm -hmm. before him. We do not want word to go out that we want to exterminate the Negro mm -hmm. population, the she Negro says. Population. Uh -huh. If it ever occurs to any of their more rebellious members. Mm -hmm. So it is clear here where her intents was. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I, I can read through the parabolic language here. Okay, parables. Okay, mm -hmm. we, we, we understand, we see what's on paper, but now we understand right. the intent of the heart. Mm -hmm. Simply by reading the quotes and, with, and reading the letter. Um, that she wrote to the clergyman, okay, seeking their support on this issue, okay, it, it's all coming to it's all coming to fruition now. Yeah. Okay. And she also has a book out called On Religious Conviction Regarding Sex Outside of Marriage. There's a lot of um, documentations in her book. Okay. And she speaks against sex outside of marriage. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because so, so, so maybe she was just a zealous. A zealous white Christian woman back in the day, I you think know. She, I think she was a hypocrite, and wanted to stop and stop stop all these you know fornicators and and adulterers, and if they have babies, kill them. No, you can't do that. No man can do that. We can speak against it, but God is the only one that can has the power to to see all. Well, maybe she was working under the power. Of God. I don't believe that. Didn't God have them destroy all the Hittites and Jebusites? And, and some people would look at that and, and say, perhaps maybe by just because you know Canaanites. I, I'm looking. You right. The Bible does teach us Hebrews 13 and 4, okay, uh, about he about sex outside of marriage. It is a, it is a, it is mm -hmm. fornication, and mm -hmm. God right. clearly speaks against that. All mm -hmm. fornicators will have their part in the lake of fire that burns mm -hmm. with fire brimstone. Right. Mm -hmm. But you know how the devil throws scripture in too to make himself appear to be an angel of light, and perhaps maybe this was her way um, by throwing in scripture, seeking clergymen in an underhanded way to appear as though she was fighting for um, fighting for life. 
but in a different aspect. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and keep in mind, she wasn't just targeting black folks. No, no, right, she was right. targeting. Uh, she was targeting even the poor, handicapped, mentally and ill, mentally ill, all these people you know, who she deemed lesser than she. Mm. Okay, yeah, they they were polluting the population, and they need to eradicate them, get rid of them. Mm-hmm. Okay, and she wrote books on this. Okay, one of um, Margaret Sanger's Happiness in Marriage. There was another one on the extermination of blacks found in one of her books, Women's Body, Women's Right, A Social History of Birth Control in America. And that was written by Linda Gordon. Okay. Um, <clears throat> there was another one on respecting the rights of the mentally ill. Okay. So there, there was a lot of documentation that she, she wrote. Okay. She talked about adultery, you know. Well, it's, you know, I, I, well, she was a uh, confused Very. <laughs> individual. Mm-hmm. You know, she was definitely a confused individual. And it's sort of like uh, Reverend Tim said, though, we don't see her talking about abortion. We see her talking about killing black. the babies, mm-hmm. black babies, mm-hmm. or, or poor babies, or whatever. Uh, which is, is sick within now, its own right. Now, in one of her example was in theory, in one of her books, Pivoted of Civilization by her, that was written in 1922 at page 80. Mm-hmm. On abortion, she says, criminal. Abortion arises yes. from a perverted sex relationship perverted sex under the stress of economic mm-hmm. necessity and their greatest frequency is among married women. Mm-hmm. The related the concept to human society saying the genetic makeup of the poor and minorities, for example, was inferior. Mm. And that was in her book, Pivot of Civilization, written in 1922 on page 80. And then she goes on about motherhood. She says, I cannot refrain from saying that women must come to the realization that realization there is some functions of womanhood other than being a child bearing machine you know and th- and that's her thought on that i understand the word of god i know god uh, uh, have put us here a uh, man and woman he's put us here to to um you know produce and no he did not put us and i tell everybody no he did not put us here to to multiply by yourself you know what i'm saying um but for you to tell me that you call me a a a, a, um uh bearing a me a child bearing machine because i desire to have uh children you know is to me is crazy you see what i'm saying but that's her point of view on motherhood but then she, it comes back for today, and it says Planned Parenthood for today. Mm-hmm. We are not going to be a. Or, it says we are not going to be an organization promoting celibacy or chest, ch- chastity, mm-hmm. chest, chastity, chastity, or chastity, chastity. Yeah, okay. And then she it comes back and says if your parents are stupid enough to deny you access to birth control and you are under 18 you can get it on your own just called Planned Parenthood there are only two basic kinds of sex sex with victims and sex without sex with victims is always wrong sex without is always right you know but the whole point of it is you're giving permission for children to be sexual active because you say here that if your your parents are crazy if they don't want you to have birth control but the whole point of it is uh that's why we as christians teach our children about safe uh, uh, it ain't about safe sex it's about abstaining from it period you know but today we look at it today they look at it and say I don't care whether you're in the church or out of the church. You, and they don't tell you you have the right. You have the right to go and get 
uh, help or whatever. Mm -hmm. I remember one time my husband went um, to my son's school or something, and uh, they had told him he had a right to go to the doctor, and they didn't have to call him. But when he got in word of it, oh, believe me, he went up to that school and he let them know a thing or two. You you don't tell my child that he has a right to go to a, a, a doctor without I me. Mean, he's underage. He's in school. How dare you do that? But that's the way of the world now. They're telling them that they can do this and they don't need their parents' permission. You know, in, in, the, in the Old Testament... <clears throat> Maybe we just need to go back to the Old Testament. Remember back in the Old Testament when, when the when a, when a son is rebellious. Yes. What could they do to a rebellious son? They can kill him. They can stone him. Yeah. <laughs> stone they, can, they can stone him. Mm -hmm. And and maybe this lady here was reading uh, the book of Deuteronomy, <laughs> where it says if a man be found lying with uh -huh. a woman mm -hmm. married to a husband, then they shall both of them die, mm -hmm. both the man that lie with the woman and the woman. So thou shalt put away evil mm -hmm. from Israel. But grace says, <laughs> he among you who is without sin, mm -hmm. <laughs> let him cast the first stone at her. Yeah. Well, 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 my well, my point is, um, you know, like she is saying, she sounds like a Christian woman. She's saying, hey, these adulterers and these fornicators. You know, back in the day, we would stone them. Now in the 1820s, we don't stone them. Say that again from the beginning. Back she sound like a Christian. She sound like. It's, it's, she, sound, she sounded to me like the the fist of the Lord. And you Herod know, and, and also she was gonna, sounded like he really wanted, wanted to go for Jesus. <laughs> so when you find him, right, right, yeah, he's coming down with me. me. So I, I tell him some gold and some silver. Right. He sounded like right. he was sincere. <laughs> right, right. But the angel said, "Don't y'all fall, fall for it. Don't fall for it. Don't don't fall for it. Don't fall for it." So we're saying to your listening audience, yes, don't, don't fall, fall for it. it. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Amen. 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 Go and get this information for yourself and Amen. then make your own decision. Amen. We Amen. have Pastor James with us, praise but the Lord. But don't fall for it. He's, he's, he's helping us out with our lesson tonight, yes, praise the Lord. I, and we thank God for the questions that he's asking to get us yeah. thinking, praise sure. the Lord. So he's behind the cameras. I remember <laughs> preaching two sermons. One was. Somebody told you wrong. Mm, mm, mm. And another one I preach, there's a king mm. down inside. inside of you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That they're trying to That Satan Amen. is trying Amen. to destroy. Amen. Mm -hmm. Well, Reverend White, you know you got a few more minutes here. Uh, you got four minutes to to talk about the church, welcome somebody to, to Christ, bring him into the altar. Well, we definitely want to do that. We want to we want to pray first of all for the Stokes family. We yes. understand that um, Louis Stokes was yes. was was one of the great, great. pioneers yes. of our time. Yes, and, um, as of now, I understand he's laying at state. Yes, his services will be held at the Olivet Institutional Church on tomorrow. Yes. And so we certainly want to not only pray for the Stokes family, but we want to pray for the church at large. Mm -hmm. um, in my opinion, the church is too silent on a lot of issues that we should be speaking on mm -hmm. and that we should be standing on. And so we certainly want to do that tonight before we, um, before we close out our broadcast. Mm -hmm. So let us pray. Yes. Oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for just this time that you've given us mm -hmm. to be able to share and to expound, to be educated, and just to hear your voice one more time. Yes, yeah, so We're grateful, Heavenly Holy Spirit, that you're with us tonight. And dear Lord, we're thankful for this opportunity to just to be a voice for justice. Lord Jesus, we pray for the Stokes family, and we pray yes. that even as they come together, family and friends and those who were well-wishers of the Honorable Louis Stokes, that you would comfort them yes. in their hour of bereavement, mm -hmm. that you would grant them strength, and that you would grant them courage to move forward, Lord God, in spite of their loss. We do thank you for the life and legacy of Louis Stokes. Yes. Yes. Thank we thank you, dear Lord, for the lives that he's touched. We thank you, dear Lord, for the example and the legacy that he left for all yes. of us, dear Lord. And we're grateful just to be able mm -hmm. to come in contact with him. 
We pray, Heavenly Father, for the church as a whole, that you would grant us courage and strength to stand up for what is right, to live out what is right, and to do the things that are right and pleasing in your sight. And even as we leave this station, Lord, your blessing be upon us. Your blessing be upon this ministry here at KFZ. Yes. And your blessing be upon this station that it will accomplish everything that you planted it to be. Mm -hmm. We pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that there is anything that was done out of character, mm -hmm. anything that was said unjust, yes. anything that was done offensive, mm -hmm. if any way that we've sinned against you in our actions yes. and in our words, you, we Jesus. come now and ask that you will forgive us. Yes. While the blood is running warm in our veins, we know that you are faithful and true to your word. Mm -hmm. But you have said if we will confess our sins, that you are faithful and just to yes, forgive us our yes, sins yes. and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Thank you, if there's any now that are streaming live who don't Jesus. know you in a free part of their yes. sins, we pray, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, that something was said that would lead them into a relationship with you, that they would come to acknowledge that they need you as Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. And now, Lord God, as they repent from their sins and seek your face and know your word, that you will have the power to save them right now. Yes, we thank you, Heavenly Father, that your word has gone out you, and it will not return void. We pray this and we believe in it, calling it done. In Jesus' in name. Jesus name. Amen. 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 Bless you all. We'll see you next Monday. Amen. Have a great week. Amen. 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 Good service. Good, 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 good show, good guys. Good input. No, that was no, great. That was great. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you, Apostle. Oh, I like I like topics like these. You know? Thank you. I want to pull it out of them, you know. I want to pull it out of you. Give me that information. Yeah. Good stuff. Good and stuff. it helps those that are listening to think as mm -hmm. well. Right, exactly. You know, and, and consider some things that maybe they never thought about before. Exactly. And then go and do their own research.